a little bit nervous about this because you never know if these things are going to work. Press play. The VU meters are moving. Let's turn the volume up. What the heck is going on? Oh no. Today I'm going to show you and test out a cassette deck I recently found at the thrift store. I'm also going to show you some cassettes I have found at thrift stores and the flea market. All that and much more coming up right after this. Hi, my name is Frank. Welcome back to Sundays and Channel 33 RPM, your channel for vinyl gear and more. Welcome to the garage. Welcome to the Landry Garage. It's been a while since I've done an episode out here, but this is where I do a lot of my tape playing. This is where I listen to a lot of cassettes. So, I'll show you what I picked up at the thrift store. Those of you who follow me on social have seen this already. It's this really nice looking a Kai deck, so I haven't tried it out yet. Uh, I'll tell you more about this, but since this is the first time in the garage a while, perhaps I'll cut away and give you a quick tour of the surroundings, or at least a portion of the garage. So this is my little corner of the garage, where we actually are pretty lucky and have a fairly large sized garage. Here's your basic tools and stuff. Security camera, we have those around the house, always important, better safe than sorry. A bit of a, a workbench, a couple speakers. So, uh, I have this one for sale, a Pioneer Stereo Receiver SX3400. These kitchen cupboards here on this wall came from my brother's kitchen. He was renovating and so I took his cupboards. Basic sort of stuff in here, oils. Here's my garage stereo system. It is a bit of a, of a mishmash of various components, but some of the best stereo systems out there are uh, a mishmash, aren't they? TV connected to um, YouTube, Netflix, that sort of stuff. And of course, this is where I jam with my friends on occasion. So there's a little mess of boogie app I have for sale. Here's my main app. It's a PV6505 Plus. A drum kit. My mother-in-law actually found this one at Valley Village uh, for 100 bucks Canadian, $105 Canadian uh, with a seniors discount and uh, she brought it over here. So when we jam, my friend Mo actually plays on this kit so he doesn't have to lug around all his stuff. This is really cool. This is a bottle opener that my friend Javier made me. Uh, a video game, Capcom Bowling. I've shown this one before. That was another thrift store find for a couple hundred bucks. And finally, we have the garage fridge. It was cribs where they used to look through people's fridges. Let's look through mine. I got some Bud Light Orange. Uh, I got some Bud Light Lemonade, Lemonade on that shelf. Some club soda, mineral water, some Sleeman's Original Draft, and of course, some Trooper Beer some Diet Pepsi and some Mott's Clamato. And uh, yeah, that is the fridge. So uh, enough of this, let's get on with what we're here to do. And that is to check out the tape deck and some tapes. Channel 33 RPM. All of these cassettes were a dollar each. We've got Richie Sambora, Stranger in This Town. I, haven't, I have not heard that one forever. Alice Cooper, Constrictor, is a quote unquote comeback in the mid 80s. Speaking of comebacks, we also have Deep Purple, Perfect Strangers, Eric Clapton, Slow Hand. These say uh, $2 each on them, but I got them for 50% off from uh, my pal Cam, so thank you very much, Cam. Some classic stones, um, some girls. Warrant, Dirty, Rotten, Filthy, Stinking Rich. Oh my God, I was so happy to find this one again, 50% off. It's Ozzy Osbourne, Randy Rhodes, Tribute. Love, Stevie Ray Vaughan, Soul to Soul. Classic Van Halen, Women and Children First. It's poison. Open up and say, ah. I'm, 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 I'm Van Halen 2 and another poison one, Flesh and Blood. Judas Priest, Defenders of the Faith. Brian Adams, Cuts Like a Knife. And Billy Idol, Rebel Yell. I remember I got this one for like my 11th birthday or something like that. So I'm happy to have this one back in the collection as well. Anyway, I moved those aside. I think the thing that um, we're all really interested in here is um, firing this tape deck up and seeing if it works. I bought this at the Goodwill in downtown Winnipeg. I walked over on a lunch break and the price, if I remember correctly, it was, a, it was like 30 or I think it was $32 Canadian, which is sort of an odd price, but it was 25% off that day. So it came to about $25. And uh, $25 is approximately $20 US if you do a quick conversion. So when, when I was in the store, I plugged it in. I saw that it lights up. I saw that the, um, the, the mechanism engages. 
<laughs> but that's as far as I got. I'll put some shots up on the screen here though. This tape deck looks gorgeous. I'm not sure if I will leave it in the garage or if I will bring it inside. My Sony, which was in my music room, has been malfunctioning and needs um, some work. That's why I was looking for another cassette deck. Not necessarily to replace it, but to act as a substitute, at least in the meantime. So this deck may very well be that one. Let's find out. I'll bring the camera down here so that you can take a closer look before we go any further. As I said, this is an Akai. It's model CSM02. Stereo cassette deck. I imagine this may be from the late 70s, but more than likely the very early 80s. It's got a Dolby, it's got mic. Back then, it was quite common for these uh, tape decks to have microphone inputs. It's got the output and the, uh, the uh, headphone level, Dolby, uh, on off. Tape selector, chrome, normal, and metal. Uh, record mute. It has this cool feature here called timer start. So I want to look more into that because I don't recall exactly what that is. And it has something called a send dust head. You can make that out. Uh, standard features here, nice smooth eject. And it's actually in very, very nice condition, at least cosmetically. So without further ado, let's plug it in and we'll hook it up to that stereo system. I will at least temporarily remove the Yamaha and we will see what happens. Dun, dun, dun. Can you see me over there? I was sitting down before, standing up now. Fairly easy to disconnect. And we'll put this here. Check out the look of this cassette deck. Doesn't that look gorgeous? And it matches really, really well with my uh, techniques there. Here's something I didn't show you before. This is my little um, Bluetooth receiver. I bought this for like 20 bucks on Amazon. And I liked it so much, I actually bought a second one for the stereo system on the main floor of our house. And uh, this is the one for here, so I can just Easily stream things via Bluetooth from my phone. Man cannot live by um, CDs, cassettes, and vinyl alone. I'm gonna test it. You know, I don't wanna use copyrighted music. Copyrighted music potentially is a big deal on YouTube. So I'm, I'm gonna use this cassette. This is um, from one of my bands called Spit in the Eye from like back in, is there a year on here? 1994, here's me on the left. I would have been um, 21 years old. I still jam with Andy to this day. I'm in contact with Jeff, and unfortunately, Mike passed away a few years back. Rest in peace, Mike. First of all, let's fire this up. I like the backlight right there. Again, just a gorgeous looking tape deck. A little crisp it with some spit in the eye. I'm a little bit nervous about this because you never know if these things are gonna work. Like, did I just lose, a, did I, did I just lose $25? Did I just... Score. Press play. The VU meters are moving. Let's turn the volume up. What the heck is going on? Oh no. Wait, did I connect this wrong? Okay, I'm gonna pause and recheck those connections. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. You're gonna laugh. I, I connected the tape deck incorrectly, which is kind of embarrassing. I connected, um, rather than doing output, I had the uh, RCAs going into the input. <laughs> I was thinking, not only did I potentially lose $25 here, but this is gonna be a really lame video. Um, anyway, so we've done that now. Let's press play and see what happens. Okay, nothing yet, but I was messing around with these. Let's see here. There we go. Yes! The Kai works. I had a moment of doubt there, 33 years, but I'm so happy. The Akai tape deck looks fantastic here. I'm gonna cut the episode at this point. I'm gonna hang on the garage a bit and listen to some tapes on this new deck. All right, 33ers, let me know what you thought of today's episode in the comments below. If you liked it, please leave a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Click that button wherever it is and you'll never miss another episode again. I hope each and every one of you has a fantastic week. Until next time, keep on rewinding.